they decided they want to start something that gets Africans telling stories about Africa, that gets Africans moving into Africa. And what that is, is going to be called Going North. So this whole idea happened within a few days that I was in South Africa. And what it's going to turn into now is, is massive, and that's why I plan to move to South Africa. So now as I move on to explain Going North Drive, one last thing. Uh, this last summer I spent in Kenya and Uganda and Rwanda traveling around doing videos for lots of organizations, but I did one thing in particular um, went to Uganda with about 20 South Africans, I met them there, and, and, and did video of them doing a mission trip in, in Kampala, Uganda. And that's where I'm going to branch from there and explain to you what going north is. So imagine, here I am in Uganda, the place it all started for me, um, in my head, through Invisible Children, but I'm with 20 South Africans, and they're also for their first time in Uganda. And I'm videotaping the impact that them being in service to others is having upon them, the, the story of that. And they're, they're changed and moved by that. So. Here I'm going to branch off and kind of give you a little picture of what we're trying to accomplish with going north. Let's pretend here in Oklahoma City that, a guy, that I go with a group of people on a mission trip to help homeless people in Chicago. It's very awesome. It definitely helps the, the people in Chicago. It definitely shows the Oklahoma City people a little bit about a life they've never seen before. But maybe that trip lasts two or three weeks and then they come back and have the problems really been fixed in Chicago? No. The people in Oklahoma feel like they've done something, and they have, but the problems are still there. That's the view now that I've been back and forth to Africa four times that I'm starting to get. There's no problem with American mission trips and groups going to Africa. But if the problems really want to be fixed, they need to be fixed from within Africa. If homelessness in Chicago is really going to be fixed, it's not going to be fixed by people in Oklahoma. It's going to be fixed by people living in Chicago. Just like all across Africa, all these problems aren't going to be fixed by groups of Americans coming back and forth, but by Africans getting involved in their own communities. And that is what Going North is going to be. That's why I'm so excited about it. Because these South Africans want to get involved in their own country, in their own continent. So yes, we did take a group of 20 South Africans to Uganda. But the goal of Going North is to take them back and give them opportunities to get involved right at home in South Africa throughout their own community. They're, they go north into Uganda and they see the problems and their eyes are open and that also just triggers something in their brain that makes them want to give back in their own country in South Africa. I mean, the site is to help, is to help these children. Now, if we can do it here in Uganda, why can't we do it in South Africa or Germany, any other country? It shouldn't just be Uganda. Okay, so now we're going to start with an explanation of going north. And the first question I want to answer is, why South Africa? Why are we doing this, starting this, in South Africa? Now, I studied there for six months, and I've been there two different times, and I just want to paint a little picture for you if you, if you don't know much about South Africa. It's a place, the way I like to explain it, that has the first world and the third world right next to each other. You have big cities, big westernized cities, Johannesburg, Pretoria, Durban, all these places that look for the most part when you walk around them a lot like you're in the US but then also you have problems facing the rest of the continent of Africa right there next to them. You've got extreme poverty, um, slums, a terrible epidem epidemic of HIV AIDS all across the country and a lot of this is right next to each other. I mean it's common for you to have um, a squatter camp or informal settlement just just outside the city so you have the first world in, in sight of the third world. They can see it and you have both of those things right next to each other, but oftentimes the two don't connect. And so what you have is, is lots of problems and resources right next to them, but they're not always coming together to solve the problems. Now as you hopefully know, South Africa has a pretty turbulent racial history, and apartheid ended 15 years ago, and, and things are healing now. Um, in the time that I've spent there, I've seen things moving on. My generation is ready to get over the past and move on for the future for South Africa and for all of Africa. So I have um, tons of South African friends of all different races, white, black, everyone, that are ready to join together and, and do things, get involved in their own communities in South Africa and across Africa as South Africans. And the reason we're starting in South Africa too is it's already seen as a leader economically, politically, and on many other levels from the continent of Africa. So if you start this movement of service from South Africa, the idea is for the continent to follow, and South Africa is already a leader that is followed on the continent. So sometimes I have a way of talking really fast, getting excited, and telling you so many details and stories that maybe I don't give you the big picture of things. 
So I want to simplify it right now and just give you a basic rundown of what the idea of going north is. It has not been established yet. It's not a fully functioning organization yet, but I intend to move to South Africa to help get it going. So this is the vision that we have for going north. And in my mind, how I like to best explain it is three things. First of all, it's going to be communicating through media. Second, uniting through relationships. And third, moving into action. Okay, so first we have communicating through media. Now I want you to picture this. Imagine that you're a South African and you have a desire to go get involved somewhere in Africa. Where would you go? At this point in time, there's no central place that you could find out where to get involved. So this is what we want to have set up. We want everyone to know you go to goingnorth.org, which we have a simple part of the website built already. It's not fully functional, but we have the idea and skeleton built. Now you would go to goingnorth.org if you wanted to get involved somewhere in Africa. And you would type in, I want to go to Zambia. So you type in the country of Zambia. It would pop up every organization or project that we had found out about in Zambia. Each one would have its own little simple website with the basic details, pictures, and videos of what's going on there. Now if it was an already existing organization, they would provide us with their videos and pictures and info, but if it was some small place that we found out about, it would be up to me and others to go there, get all the information, compile it, take videos, and put those videos on the site. So essentially we're going to be creating an, a web database, like imagine a Google search for any volunteer or organization or outreach across Africa. You could type in, I want to go to an orphanage and it would pop up every different country we found an orphanage in. You could watch a video about that place, find out what's going on there, what the needs are there. Now this is an internet based part, the communicating through media is. And so in South Africa now, they're a little bit behind on internet, so they're just getting the high speed that we have in America right now in South Africa. So we're wanting to tackle this as the technological revolution is just now hitting South Africa. So we want to have this whole network ready and online so that by the time it's normal for people to have high speed in their houses and be watching videos all the time. Going North will be there and they'll know about it and they'll know that they can get online, find out anywhere to get involved and volunteer or start a project or anything by going to goingnorth.org. So that is how we intend to get it started by communicating through media. Now second we have uniting through relationships. And in my travels, as I said earlier, I've been to 10 different countries in Africa and seen tons of different organizations. And there's lots that can be gained if they meet up with each other and share ideas and develop relationships. You've got an orphanage here and an orphanage here that may really need to meet up and share ideas about what works, what doesn't. Um, maybe they could even find out how to apply for this grant or that grant. So there's so many different people across Africa that are doing similar things and we want them to unite towards the common goal of helping their continent. And so Going North is not going to be just based on the internet. I mean, obviously we're dealing with real organizations and real people. So they can definitely connect through the website. Where they can even have their own little profile and stuff like on Facebook. But Going North, we're also hoping to host a conference at least every year or twice a year where people from any project that's on the Going North site can, can come together in South Africa and meet and share ideas and network and, and just figure out how together they can make Africa a better continent for all Africans. The third facet of going north is moving into action. Now what we want to do is obviously we want to get people moving, get them going north and moving throughout Africa and just having their eyes open and getting involved. When, when people take a trip somewhere, their eyes are open and they see the impact that they can have on a community or on a person or on an orphanage or anywhere. So going north, we want to facilitate these things to happen. For the first time we did this this summer, I met up with 20 South Africans in Uganda and we did a, a building project at this Watoto children's village in Uganda. Now that really opened a lot of their eyes to what things are like up in East Africa. The idea is that anyone can go on one of these going north trips and then from there they can decide what their area of north is. Maybe they want to keep going back and forth to Uganda and developing relationships there, but maybe what they saw in Uganda opens their eyes to the slum down the street from their house, or the orphanage down the street from their house that they never thought about getting involved in, but now that they've been to Uganda, they want to. So we just want to start moving people and giving them opportunities to go get involved places. This Swazi 1000 trip that we do, we're hoping on taking 500 people here in December of 2009 to Swaziland. So this is the third facet of going north. We've got we have the communicating through media, uniting through relationships, and then we're moving people into action so they're actually working and doing things on the continent of Africa.